it be too much if I kiss it? It's all right with me if it's all right with your wife. <laughs> Where, Ramon? Make sure that the all fish is in the pitcher. I want it for posterity. A little to the right, a little more. That's it. <laughs> well, Vince, when are you going to come to work for me? Well, I do work for you. Every time you charter the Idelda. I'm serious. I need a good advertising and promotion man. No, now let's not get into that again. Come on. Your boss is local. Now, come on, Kurt, admit it. You'd like to spend all your time down here with us. Ah, uh, you're wrong. I like bolting. I love it. But I wouldn't give up my business for it. Well, that's what makes horse racing. <laughs> you made your point. See you in a couple of weeks. OK. Come on. A little diving tomorrow, Ramon. I don't know. I promised Raina I'd do a little work around the hotel. She thinks I spend too much time diving. Oh, sure. I understand. I'd like to Vince, but... No, no, no. It's all right, Ramon. I know how it is. Well, I guess the hotel won't fall in if I join you. For me, senorita? Yo no hablo inglés. Well, I could speak Spanish, but it'll be awfully painful. I'm a riot. They all die laughing. <laughs> you were supposed to have had uh, identification. You had it, sweetheart. You have a strange sense of humor, Mr. Paul. Uh, 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 uh. Billy. Would you come with me, please? Pleasant? Yeah, it was all right. I expected someone quite different. Yeah, so did I. Of course, you have been informed as to the nature of our business. Yeah, I got the general idea. I will be your contact. All business will be conducted through me. If others are needed, I will arrange to have them placed at your disposal. How much time do I have? Your business must be concluded within six days. It doesn't give me much time for sightseeing, does it? Yourself at home. Excuse me. 
excuse me. Hello? Sí. Llegó. Está aquí en mi apartamento. No, todavía no. Yo te llamo luego. Hey, you read all these? Of course. I see. How does one begin? Why don't you try the beginning, sweetheart? My friends and I have set up on a course of action which requires a knowledge of Latin American history in order to fulfill our part. You want somebody hit, right? Hmm? Knocked off, killed, murdered. Assassinated. Yeah, that too. What's the difference? None, really, for your purposes. You got any juice? Tomato juice, apple juice, pineapple juice? No, I'm sorry. Do you know this man? He the guy? Antonio Perez, the former ruler dictator of my country. Perhaps you wonder why a former dictator, a man out of power, is the object of our plan. No. Today, in my country, there is internal strife. We have problems, difficulties. We realize that. But we need a chance to find our way through our own judgment, even through our own mistakes. But there are those who would like to return to the old ways. Antonio Perez is one of them, the worst. With the money he stole from my people, he now finances brutality and terrorism. Perez is a swine. For him to return to power would be the end of hope. Death and slavery to all who desire freedom and oppose him. Do you have any idea of what it means to live under a dictator? <laughs> you should have known my old man. Your sense of humor amazes me. You got any shows in English? Is it of no interest to you to know whom you're going to kill? No. Got any fruit? Let's stop this childish nonsense! To participate in an assassination for me is a very serious matter. Easy, Tiger. Don't get mad at me. You say he's a pig. Don't take this so hard. People get killed all the time. But for you, it's all the same. That's about it. One pig is the same as another. One man has already died in an attempt to kill Perez. Perez knows we're trying to get him. His island is extremely well guarded. His what? Where he's exiled. Tell me something. Why did you hire me? I mean, why didn't you use one of your own boys? Should anything go wrong with our plan, there must be no way to implicate my country. OK, Tiger. I can see you're not going to be any fun. Fill me in. At seven o'clock. Gracias. Hello, Oh, how do you do, senora? Hello, I'd like a room, please, for myself and my daughter. Oh, of course. I have a very nice room facing the harbor. That would be fine. Oh. Will you sign, please? Ramon! Ramon! Ven un momento que tenemos huéspedes. Mrs. Vincent Dodge? Helen? Yes. Oh, what a surprise and a pleasure. Uh, we have heard so much about you. Ramon, it is Vincent's wife and daughter. How wonderful to see you, Mrs. Dodge. <laughs> Buenas dias, Josephine. Hi. How do you do, Ramon? It is such a pleasure. Is Daddy here? He should be back very soon. Would you like to go to your rooms first? Oh, certainly. Certainly they would. Well, if he won't be back. Daddy! Joe, Joe, mm, Joe, let me take a look at you. 
I hardly recognize you. You look different, too. Hello, Helen. Hello, Vince. You're looking very well. You're looking well, too. Can I go for a ride? Joe, you can have as much boating down here as you can stand. Come on, you can talk to your daddy in a minute. Let's get into some jeans now, huh? What do we use for a boat? But you can't use a boat. Great. Kyle lives on an island, can't use a boat. Because of the heavy guard and the radar. Radar? No one can approach the island without their knowledge. The price of this job's going up every minute. Oh, I am sure a man in your profession is accustomed to a great many risks. Risks I take, sweetheart. Suicide I don't need. Now, you tell your little friends that I want maps, photos, and building plans. I want to know how to get the supplies. How many boats, guests, arrivals, and departures. I want to know that whole Perez family routine. Everything. You've got that by morning. Hi, Vincent. Hi, Dolores. Buenas tardes, señor. Buenas tardes, amigo. You seem to have found a home here. Oh, they're wonderful people. It's a beautiful boat, Vincent. I can see why you're very proud of it. It's almost paid for, too. Then you must be very happy here. You could say that. Vincent? Who is that? Perez's bodyguard and some of his friends. Perez, the ex-dictator? Mm -hmm. He lives on a small private island. Have you ever seen him? Mm, a couple times. We deliver supplies to him. Is he really as bad as everyone says he is? <laughs> I don't know. He's not the friendly type. Helen. I better find Joe. Good morning. Buenos dias, Mr. Poole. Sit down. Thank you. you. Bring it? I have it here. Oh, see ya. Here? What's the difference? Well, I prefer to conduct this business in your room. Ah, uh, just give me the stuff. I couldn't care less around here. This will help. You seem to show no interest in the character of Perez himself, so uh, I decided... Oh, let, let's skip the speeches, huh? Please. Hey, what more do you know about the supply boat? Nothing more than I told you. Uh, Anita, get some sharp clothes. We're supposed to be together, right? Of course. I understand. Business is getting so good, we'll never scuba diving no more. Mm -hmm. Well, Rena don't like that anyway. What's scuba diving? Well, it's underwater diving, Joe. We use tanks like this and we go down for a long time. It's very beautiful. Can I try it? Well, I don't know. Do you think you can swim well enough? Sure I can. You should see me. You think we ought to let Joe go scuba diving, Ramon? <laughs> Are we going to live with you now, Daddy? Well, I want that very much, Joe. We're coming into checkpoint. Now, listen, Joe, when we get here, you're going to have to stay aboard, OK? OK. Now, who do we have here? 
My daughter, Joe. Why have you kept her from us? Buenas tardes, señorita. Hello, sir. Very pretty, very pretty. You clear for the loading. I speak English, so do I. What's your name? Joe. I'm Linda Perez. Do you have a snorkel? My father's teaching me to scuba dive. Really? Is it fun? I haven't started yet. Do you live here? Yes. We have a zoo. Would you like to see the animals? Oh, I'm sorry. Joe's not allowed on the dock. I don't think it would matter this once. With your permission, Vincent? All right. See you in a little while, Joe. Ramon? I am very sorry, senorita. Please? You know that's not possible. Caballeros, hace un mes les encargué tres asuntos simples, muy simples. ¿Y cuál ha sido el resultado? Ninguno. Pues bien, ahora tendrán solamente una semana. Si en ese tiempo no obtienen resultados, no vuelvan más por aquí. Y ahora, váyanse. Es la niña. Es la hija de Vincent Dodge. Oh, I am Linda's father. Would you like to see my animals? Yes, but he said I couldn't. Oh, he won't mind. I promise you. Thank you, father. <laughs> Adiós, señorita Dodge. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you going? To the zoo. Linda's father said it was all right. Senor Antonio Perez himself. Well, I'm sorry, Joe, but we have to go now. Can't I stay to see the animals? The next time. Maybe tomorrow, huh? So long, Linda. Adios. Please come back soon. I will.
Who is it? Anita, may I come in? You forgot to tell me about uh, Dodge's wife and kid. We didn't know. There was nothing in the report concerning his being a married man. Will it interfere with the plan? No, I guess not. Anything else? No. Yeah. Relax. You're supposed to be on vacation. Try to enjoy yourself. That's better. so I can keep up with you. <laughs> Joe really made a conquest. He's the only person in the world with a sole run of Perez Island. Yeah. Uh, Vincent, excuse me. This is Mr. William Poole and Miss Anita Chavez. Miss Chavez? Poole? Hello, how are you? This is my wife, Helen, and my daughter, Joe. They wish to rent a boat. Fishing, Mr. Poole? Yeah, fishing, diving, sightseeing. <laughs> We're on vacation. Well, anything you want. When can we start? Uh, how about tomorrow morning, early? Well, right now. Well, I'm booked up for the afternoon. Tomorrow morning would be better. Okay. Give us a chance to look around. Fine. See you later then. Mom, I'm going down to the fish pool, okay? Oh, all right. But be careful now. <laughs> Come on, honey. This afternoon's for us. Not touch. Thank you. What is it? Broke fish. Thank you. Hello, Joe. Hi. Hi, Joe. You go out on the boat with your father all the time? Just sometimes. You like to go for rides? Sure. Got some raisins? No, thanks. You like to go out with your daddy and Anita and me sometime? I guess so. You'll have a good time. Sure. I'll ask your mom and dad, OK? I have to go now. So long. Nice little girl. You know, I think everything's going to work out just fine. Surely you could devise another plan. I like this one. But you didn't even know the child was here. I know it now. We never envision hostages or kidnapping. There are many ramifications. My organization must be consulted. These things must be carefully weighed and discussed. Go ahead, discuss it. But there's no time. Wouldn't it be wiser to simply abandon the idea? You want Perez hit or not? Of course, but Then I... shut up. I've got to get on and off that island, and I need Dodge. Just how do you suppose I'm going to get him to go along with all of this? By asking for his help? Why don't you go... call your friends? Idelda. Why did you call the boat the Idelda? Well, that was her name when I bought her. I was thinking of changing it to the Tranquility, but I never got around to it. I like that. Sounds like San Miguel. Yeah. Back home, I probably would have called it the rat race. Is that really how you feel about home? Oh, I don't mean you and Joe. Just that whole New York advertising scene. We were part of it. 
said I didn't mean you and Joe. Who did you mean? My father? Friends? What? Your friends, not my friends. That whole cooked up world that you and your father manufactured for me to live in. The only thing I did for myself was to get up in the morning. The only thing that my father did to you was to give you a good job and a partnership in a business that he had spent his whole life building. And you took it. Yeah. Well, I've given it back. Spending my life doing something I hated, peddling soap and cigarettes. Being a fisherman in San Miguel, oh, that's much better. Well, it beats charity anyway. My father never meant it as charity. He needed you. Well, I didn't need him. Look, all I wanted was for you to come down here with Joe where you belong. On your terms. All right, on my terms. Now, is it a crime for a man not to want to take from his wife's family? It's a worse crime for a man to take from his own daughter. And every day that you stay down here, you're stealing from Joe. She deserves a decent home and a father, and she's not getting either from you. All right. I can't give her the biggest home on the island yet. But this business is growing. It'll come with time. Time? How much time do you want? She's nine years old. Look, there's such a thing as a wife waiting for her husband's business to grow. There's even such a thing as maybe helping him. But you wouldn't know about that. Because it doesn't have anything to do with cocktail parties, playing bridge, or Madison Avenue. Thank you. You paint a lovely picture of me. No, oh, thank you. Never use them. What kind of business are you in, Mr. Poole? Thank you. Well, I, uh, I guess you could call it uh, troubleshooting. Wouldn't you say, Anita? Oh, how interesting. And you, Miss Chavez? Well, well, I... she's sort of a troublemaker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, sweetheart. Only kidding. You done much fishing, Billy? No, not much. Quite a bit of diving, though. Oh, where? In the service. Underwater demolition. It's a pretty rough outfit. Uh, it's an education. What is it they call it? Uh, career training. Yeah. What racket were you in in the States? Advertising. You know, the gray flannel suit. He was one of the best. One of the fastest rising, anyway. Mr. Dodge, I find it most interesting that a man with your education, your background, should be employed as a charter fisherman. It's no big problem. I do what I do simply because I like it. Surely you do, but uh, what of your obligation to your education, your training? I'm not sure I have any obligation. Certainly not to the advertising profession. I meant society. Ah, that's one of those trick words. Yes, but you must realize how precious your education is in my country, or here in Puerto Rico. In fact, throughout the world, education is vital. The means of uh, moving into the 20th century, into progress. Well, you're absolutely right, Miss Chavez. But I believe in doing what I'm doing. Well, I guess everyone is entitled to his own opinion. <laughs> Coronel Cepeda and some of the Perez guards are coming up. Is anything wrong? I don't know. He hasn't been up here before. Good evening, Vincent. Uh, forgive my intrusion. Good evening. I'd like to introduce my wife, Miss Chavez, Mr. Poole. How do you do? Mucho gusto. Haven't we met before? Oh, I don't believe so. Your accent seems familiar. Where do you come from? Puerto Rico. Your features are not unlike those of my countrymen. Are you here on a holiday? What's on your mind, Cepeda? Senor Antonio Perez has asked me to extend an invitation to your daughter. He would be very honored to have her as a guest of his daughter, Senorita Linda. She really did make a conquest, didn't she? I'm afraid we're gonna have to decline the invitation. I'm sorry. Oh, Miss Dodge, why? Well, she's only been here a couple of days. I hate to lose her so soon. Why doesn't Linda come and be our guest? Vincent, you know the caution Senor Perez has, has to exercise. Mr. Dodge, I'm sure you can spare her for a day or two. 
Perhaps Joe, too, is lonely for a friend. All right, I'll have it ready in the morning. Thank you, thank you. Senorita Linda will be very pleased. Again, forgive my intrusion. <laughs> you wanted the kid to go, didn't you? <laughs> you blew my only chance to get Dodge to get me off that island. I'm tired of your interference. <laughs> I'm through. I don't do business with stupid, confused people like you. You must not go. Either you want this guy dead or you don't. I'm not going to hang around here and get killed while you make up your mind. Then you won't come back to New York. It's no good, Helen. It's no good that way. Are you trying to tell me that you want a divorce? No, I'm just saying I can't go back. It would be the end for us. Can't you understand that? What would you say if I said that I'd stay here and try? I'd ask you to be sure. I can't be sure, but I'll try. I'll try as hard as I can. The woman. We could hold the woman. Oh, come on. To snatch a kid is one thing. A full-grown woman, that's something else again. We wouldn't need to abduct her. Helen would come with me willingly, shopping or sightseeing. Yeah. She likes you. Might work. It will. I promise you, Billy, please. I like it when you say please. Are you going to be all right, honey? Don't worry, Daddy. Okay. We'll be back for you tomorrow, Joe. Goodbye, Mr. Poole. Adios, Ramon. Adios, chica. Your Spanish is improving. Zoo's for real. That's pretty big. Yeah, Perez keeps adding to it. Where is the great man? A little early yet. We usually see him around 11. Hey, let's take a spin around, huh? You mind? All right, as soon as I make this delivery. Fair enough. Then we'll go diving. You don't want any company. No, well, thanks. I think I'll look around on my own. Have you spare something? Good hunting. How long is Helen going to be in San Miguel? This time for keeps. I'm very glad for you. Of course not. Two's company.
You and your husband been here long? I just came down a few days ago. Vincent's been here about a year. Are you planning to stay? Yes. You've been here before? <laughs> I'm sorry, I seem to be asking so many questions. Oh, that's all right. I know it sounds strange. But Vincent and I have been separated. But now you're separated no longer. No longer. Good, I'm glad. Helen, tomorrow let's you and I spend the day together. Maybe we can go to a restaurant in old San Juan and see the town. Oh, that sounds marvelous. I'd love it, really. Billy back? No. Didn't you see him? No. Oh, just about to go looking for you. I chased a barracuda halfway around the island. You lose him? I'll get him next time. Hi, where's Ellen? What's the matter with you, sweetheart? thinking of Antonio Perez. Oh, I thought you were thinking of me. I was thinking of you, too. That's nice. Well, after tonight, you can forget all about me. I'll never forget you. <laughs> I'll bet you won't. Your uh, boy's got everything straight? Money, papers, and plane? Yes. Good. And I'll see you at Morrow Castle. See. Morning. Hi. I'm ready for the cook's tour. Come on. Good. You girls have a good time now. Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. Aren't you going to wish me good luck? Good luck. You can do better than that. Boxes, but we'll have to uh, drop them off the island before we go fishing. No, that's all right. Is Joe coming back with us, Vince? Yeah, we'll probably have to treat her in the style she's become accustomed to. <laughs> Your wife will be glad to see her. Yeah. Well, let's cast off. Cast off the ball line. Hey, Vince, there's something I want to talk to you about. Yeah? I need your help. I have to get on the island. Which island? Perez Island. <laughs> hey, Ramon, you hear what Billy said? He wants us to help him get on the Perez Island. I don't see what for, unless you want to commit suicide. I said it was important. All right, go ahead. Don't expect any help from us. You'll help. That is, if you want to see your wife again. Now, what did you say? You got that out of your system, hero. You got no choice, Dodge. You better listen to what I have to say. Listen to him, Vince. <laughs> All right, is everybody relaxed? Thinking about Helen? Good. Now, here's how it goes. At a point offshore, I go over the side of the line. You told me near to the dock. When the line goes slack, pull it. From there on, you just go about your business like normal. You make your delivery, come back to the boat, park it a couple hundred yards offshore, and you and Ramon put on the tanks and uh, dive for a little while. I'll join you. It's as simple as that. Simple? Do you know how many guards they got on that island? Their boat's twice as fast as ours. I know. You just keep thinking about Helen, buddy boy.
How did that get on board? If there's a storage charge, put it on my bill, huh? What happens to Helen if they stop you? They kill her. My daughter? No, they're there ¿Qué tal, Ramón? Bien, como siempre. Vámonos. ¿Qué tal, Pienso? Todo bien. Gracias.
Ven conmigo que yo te enseñaré. Quiero ver a toda la gente aquí, a la guardia de día y a la guardia de noche. ¿Qué es lo que están haciendo? Si ha visto un hombre buzo por ahí, ¿qué es lo que han hecho? Algo tienen que hacer, ¿eh? No han hecho nada y hay que hacer algo. y busquen un médico y pidan por radio el helicóptero. He's a professional killer. He won't go away until he gets his money. I wish I could go with you. I'll take good care of Joe. Vámonos. I'm sorry I got you into this. Don't worry about me. Let's go, Vincent.
really is impressive. I've always found it so. Have you brought Billy here? I'm afraid he's had very little time for sightseeing. Well, after all that hiking, I think I'm ready for a little refreshment. Let's have lunch at El Convento. All right. It's all right, Helen. I know them. Now, just sit in the back with her. What is this, Anita? What's going on? Turn the radio on, Salas. and won't help him. I know that. He will do it to protect you. Do you understand that you're murdering my husband? Helen, it's not so easy for me. You and all your idealism. You're no different than Perez. You don't understand, Helen. I've thought about it many times. Sometimes you can only buy peace with an act of violence. And you think this act of violence is going to bring you peace? You think you're not going to have any problems anymore? You think there aren't going to be any more Perez's? Shut up. We spotted the Delta of El Morro. Notify the Coast Guard. Interrumpimos nuestra transmisión para dar paso a una noticia de último momento. El expresidente Antonio Pérez ha sido víctima de un atentado a su vida. No se cuenta aún con información detallada al respecto pero se ha sabido que el atentado fracasó. What is it? What did he say? They have failed. And Vincent? I don't know. They must be looking for us. We better take that plane. What about Billy Pooh? Who knows where he is now? The important thing is to get away. If they catch him, he will involve our government. Where's the money? If I pay him off, he won't talk. I promise. I'm leaving. Either you come with me or get out of the car. Billy, 
I didn't. Let me have your gun. 